Hello. This is my third time shooting this. I just kind of... <laughs> my brain's gone splat. All right. April 14th, we all got the big 72 seasons, right? Everybody went bananas, blah, 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 blah. And judging by the comments on my video and as well as a few others, it seems like blah. That being said, also on April 14th, we got Overkill's Scorched. That record is fucking badass. It is thrash. The songwriting and the structures are fucking almost perfect. Yes, there's some repetition in there, but it's thrash. It's overkill. They've been around for since, like since the 80s. What do you want them to do? I listened to The Surgeon when it first was released, and I was very sort of bummed out because I didn't get that fucking whole Bobby, you know, the years of decay vocal. But I wanted, I wanted more. And then after I listened to the record, I got that in full. I got Bobby at pretty much at his best. And a song like Fever, he's actually got like some nice little bit of sort of spoken word, clean sort of vocal going on during the verses. And I'm okay with that because it's a different thing for him. And then he ratchets up his elimination, you know, that whole sort of thing. He gets that snarl that Bobby's known for. There's also... um won't be coming back, which the the intro almost sounds like Holy Diver. Call me kooky, call me wacky. Uh, Twist the Wick is probably one of my favorite songs off the record. Uh, the Surgeon is badass uh, as well. The title track is awesome. Uh, Wicked Place is, be is pretty killer. Uh, Bag of Bones. The whole record as a whole is fucking awesome. If I was to give this a score out of five, it's probably going to get a four and a half. Um, I want to listen to more of that record. And when I listen to won't, uh, will be coming back. I almost want to go listen to Holy Diver. So that's kind of a cool thing. Like, and with 72 seasons, I didn't, I did, there wasn't a lot calling me back and I was like, okay, well, that's fine. I guess there's only like two songs on there. I'll get excited about this record. I want to listen to more of and that's the thing when I'm talking about earworms. Like, I know people will be like, oh, well, you know, if you're just going to stop listening, uh, if, if, if you're, you know, if you're not going to be into bands because they're not leaving you with earworms, then you're going to miss out on a lot of records. That's true. But this makes me want to listen to it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Like, this record I want to buy. Like, I would rather buy this as opposed to 72 Seasons. That's the thing. I expect more out of bigger bands. I didn't expect anything out of Overkill. I was like, okay, well, maybe they'll have a record that sounds as good or maybe not as good as Ironbound. Because that was the last record that they put out that I was like, yes, this is awesome. I was like, well, fuck it. If people are saying it's good, I might as well go check it out. And yeah, and I had heard a track or two. And it was, I was like, okay, well, this is pretty damn good. So fucking, yeah, I love it. A four and a half out of five, absolutely for sure. So anyways, guys, I'm heading in because I don't want this fucking cheese. I don't want this cheese to go all fucking weird. I will see you guys in a little while.